There's a brother there. I see a house, brother. There's a man there. Why well, I'm seeing a house? Are you building a house? Come here. Yasaka Talaya. Bring him here. See, Papa, no key. Bring him here. see a house look here but look here I see a house number one number two I see a contract yes a business contract yes uh, this business contract is making you to go up and down amen so now but there's a problem there's a problem yes this problem is where you come from because when God wants to bless you. There's always spirits that are monitoring you. They're looking at you. They say, ah, we'll see. Some of you, there are spirits that follow you in, here in the church. And you, you are waiting to, to, <laughs> you are waiting to see a spirit. No, there's someone here, it's a spirit. That person is, is, is looking at you and say, you must never prosper. You, you must never prosper. Where is the house? Look at that. Sometimes when we talk, they say we're just talking. Let's see. So I'm not just talking. Look here, brother. Look here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift him up. Because I see prosperity in business in Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Magadineza. And with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simona, who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is James Maluleke. I'm coming from Makuleke Malamlele. So today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, I prophesied us about the house that was we are building, and also the business that is um, we are busy with. That uh, you seeing us moving all around, it's just because of the business that we are busy with, and that is true. The issue of the of the house, you just said that we are building a house, and the which is true, which is. Um, it's true that the, we are building a house just because we are almost done with the house that he was talking about. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and spoke to you? I'm very happy that he located us. Uh, when I say us, I'm just saying he just located me, but all, all it's, it means together we are, I'm with, with my wife. So these blessings are for us, all of us. So, which is true for everything that he was saying. He also spoke about all the challenges that were coming f across from the places where we came from, which, which is true. Yes. Thank you, sir. There's a girl here called Oloe Tu. Oloe Tu, come here. Go and ride, you'll pass. Bring that, lady, that girl here. Go and write again. Bring her, bring her here. Go and write, you will pass. Because there are demons that are causing confusion in your mind. Uh, they want to make you feel like you are not good for school. Amen. Therefore, you are going to change from one cause to another. <laughs> bring her here. Let it go right, you will pass. Come on. 
Bring her for the last time. Go and pass. It's done. Life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Oluwetu. I come from Cape Town. Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, the man of God spoke that um, I must go write my exam and I will make it. And I confirmed the prophecy to be true because uh, I was doing a course, but I failed and I write again. But I didn't do well again so i was about to give up and start another course but the man of god said i must go write the test the the course i will make it amen, amen. so you're saying that you did it for the first time you you failed and you did it the second time and you also failed how did that affect you i felt like giving up because uh i was starting to to doubt myself if uh, is this course the right course for me or i'm just i followed the a wrong path and how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you and assured you that you are going to pass? I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so happy. I feel like writing the paper even now. <laughs> and how would you encourage a young person who's watching this and they are failing in their studies or they're facing difficulties? I'll tell them that even if, even if you fail or you face challenges, you must not give up in life. Maybe God is still working something for you. Amen. Come here, Mama. Jesus' name. Jesus, my name. Out. Ah, oh, you dead. Remove this thing at the back here. Remove it. You are removing it. Huh? You are removing it. Remove now. Now. Now in the name of Jesus. There's a man here, say, the man, this one who lost this shop, you, you say. I want to tell you, God wants to restore you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. If you have lost your business, now you don't know what to do. Amen. You know, it's true. Let your eyes be fixed on Jesus. Amen, my prophet. You hear me? Yes. Let's see what will happen this week. Amen. 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 This week. Thank you, Lord. Let's see. This week. Thank you. This week. Thank you, prophet. This shop must be restored in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Life, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Yeah, thank you. My name is Richard. I'm from Jobek. So today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, yes. Prophet Andrews called me and said to me, there's a man here who lose him shop. Yeah, and I confirm that uh, it's true. I'm the one. So what happened? How did you lose your shop? Uh, this thing happened in the April after I lost my brother August, the one who was the cameraman. So uh, I just became lazy. I didn't want to carry on with that shop because the way he was shoot, the way they shoot him is just opposite to the shop. So you know, it's my blood brother. So I was not interested again for that shop. So it's our that decides to leave that shop. And today I'm happy that the man of God he located to me. He said to me that uh, you know, now it's been like a long time, four to five months now since I, I lose that shop. But he said to me, next week something good going to happen. And I believe that uh, God will make a way. Yes. Thank you. Brother, I want to tell you, this case is cancelled. You must rejoice. You hear me? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God, God, God has already cancelled this case. Yes, yes. Go home, eat, eat pap. Thank you, Jesus. Come here, I touch you. Go eat pap. You know, this case was making you to fail to sleep. Yes. And you were asking God, but God, where are you? Yes, yes. Can you please intervene? Already God has intervened. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go home, eat pap. Your case is cancelled. 
Stand up. Your case is cancelled, brother. Miriam must tell you again. Your case is cancelled. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because I'm seeing a policeman cancel it. Amen. Amen. So this Thank is cancelled. Come on. Out. Oh, you demon. Sister, look here. Look here. The spirits of your family are searching for you. Amen. You hear me? Yes. You, you know what these people used to do? I'm talking about the old people. Yes. What they used to believe in. Yes. Because I'm hearing the sounds of drums. Yes, they were sangomas. Huh? They were sangomas. Mm, I'm hearing sound of drums. And uh, I'm seeing that this spirit is also searching for you. So I want to tell you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth will set you free. Amen. In Jesus' name. And with this, look, with this, marriage will be very difficult. It is. It is. Even now, I, I'm, I'm even questioning, should I leave or it, it's, it's to decide for me? Help me, man of God. Where is your husband? He uh, told me he doesn't want to come to church. He doesn't want to come to church? Yes. Mm, I, I speak peace in your house. Amen. You hear me? A snake huh? out and alive, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Blessing. I'm coming from Centurion. Prefer Andres located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, he said that uh, there's something from your family that is following you, mm -hmm. like they want to destroy you, something. And I can confirm to be true because he said they used to do some traditional things. It's true because my grandparents, they used to be Sangomas. Mm. Mm, and I can confirm that to be true. Mm. And did that bring any kind of delay in your life? Or? I wasn't aware, okay. but there have been many delays in my life. Then the other thing also mentioned that the same spirit is also causing marital problems in your, in your life. Mm. And I can confirm that to be true because it's been a challenge in my marriage. Sometimes even question, should I just pack my bags and go? Even yesterday I was even praying last night, crying to say, Lord Jesus, you must deliver me from this. So I believe God has answered my prayers and set me free. Mm. Alone. What do you want here in the leave church? Leave her alone. I must leave, leave her alone. Her alone. Yes, leave she belongs to Jesus. Yeah. No. Huh? no. She belongs to me. So she belongs to Jesus. I'm, 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 I'm. You must leave her now. <laughs> leave her now. <laughs> leave her. <laughs> leave her. <laughs> leave her. Uh, come here. Receive your business, sister. The job you got is not your job. There's a better job that is coming. Amen. Amen. You hear me? Amen. It's, yeah, it's very close. Amen. And this job will give you a car this time. Amen. Life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is Kamaelo. I'm from Tembisa. Prefer and dislocated you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, Prophet Andres said to me, um, the job that I got, it's not my job. A better job is coming and the job is coming with the car. Amen. Amen. Okay, um, I confirm the prophecy to be true. Yes, I did get a job and really I was feeling that the job that I got, it's not mine. And I was trusting God that God, I know that this is an open door for a better job. So I, yes, it's true and I'm very happy because God has answered my prayer. Amen. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andrews located you, ministered upon your life regarding this better job and that it's going to come with the car? 
I'm happy. I don't want to lie. I'm happy. I'm happy that God has finally had every, like every door that I've been crying for, it is finally open. So I'm happy and I'm grateful and I give thanks to God. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. There's a man who made things very difficult for you. You hear me? Amen. Yes. When you started working where you were working before, there was a man who made things very difficult for you. Amen. That's true. You must forgive him. Amen. You hear me? Yes. Amen. Uh, because you feel like he has, you know, he has stolen something that you were supposed to receive. Amen. Uh, because I look at this place, it looks more like it was busy. And yes. he cut you off. Amen. So forgive him. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nice, Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? This is Dr. Dikeledi and I stay in Pretoria. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, the man of God mentioned the issue that there's a man that I was working with and I should forgive him, of which I confirmed to be true because uh, when I started my business, I went into this medical center with the GP, the medical doctor. So the way we parted ways was not good of which when we were moving out, I found that he had like charms in his offices. So yeah, what the man of God said is true. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andrews located you, spoke upon your life regarding this issue and even directed you on what to do, which is forgiving? Okay, the man of God said that I should forgive. Uh, I was not sure that I was harboring the anger or unforgiveness in my heart, but then whenever I would think about how I started my business, <laughs> with him or him recruiting me into the building, I just realized that actually I was harboring that unforgiveness. But as the man of God said that I should forgive, I believe when the Bible says that God must forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us, I should do the same to set myself free because when I harbor unforgiveness, I'm only delaying myself and then blocking other blessings of God to come into my life. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.